They say criminals always return to the scene of a crime, which is why we've probably got so many Australians over here. <laughs> So, uh, if you're being interrogated by the police and they're recording the interview, just make sure that every so often you go, Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go camping in the countryside. We notice that whenever the police find a body, it's always in a tent. <laughs> We in the Tory party are going to give the north of England a huge boost and then all the people can come out and lick the chocolate off it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really very, very proud of my working class roots. Uh, when I was growing up, we only had an outside toilet. Eventually, we got enough money to buy a house. here in the science program. 1643. The cold air balloon is invented. <laughs> but it doesn't really take off. <laughs> I was the man who discovered DNA. I wasn't going to call it that, but I was giving a lecture to the Royal Society, and I said, gentlemen, I believe I've discovered the genetic fingerprint of all human life. Ta-da! <laughs> I did have here a pie chart to demonstrate obesity. <laughs> Carlsberg. <laughs> Don't do liver transplants. <laughs> but if they did... I used to drink Strongbow Cider with my mate Dave, but he was killed by an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, talk me through it again, Mrs Hopkins. You were having Sunday dinner. And you said to your husband, will you carve? And he just lay down on the floor and gave birth to a baby cow. <laughs> My last girlfriend asked if I could play smoke on the water, so I threw a toaster in her bath. <laughs> Actually, during the day, I'm something really high up in the city. <laughs> Ambassador Thrall! Are you telling me that intergalactic war occurred? Because one of your people said, I'm going to the shops, do you want something? And another one replied, yes, get me a galaxy. <laughs> Men! There is a house in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually at college with Saddam Hussein. We were at Sussex together doing chemistry and combined inhumanities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when we got into Bosnia, the first thing we did was get the United Nations troops <laughs> setting up trestle tables with plates of cheese straws and sausage rolls. But it turns out we were supposed to provide a buffer, not a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> And so, Nick Griffin comes round after the face transplant, and that's not the colour he was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now... This is Fox News.
<laughs> Later on, we'll be finding how the Queen arrived in Australia, but first. <laughs> This is the train speaking. <laughs> I know we're running a bit late, but don't worry, I know a shortcut. Should the parson. We welcome a new member of staff today. He has no arms and no legs and no body, and we will call him the head. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this song to a friend of mine who was run over last week and is in hospital. The wheels of the bus go round and round and round. round, round. <laughs> I... My wife says, I, I don't feel anything, uh, which is a problem. And there was something else. Oh, yes, I'm on fire. <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I am a control freak. What should I do? I'll tell you what I should do. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sue Barker. You may remember my father, Chew Barker. <laughs> of course, this year the British players play a lot better. If we look at this graph, we see huge biceps and an angry. Sorry, Steffi, wrong graph. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss the following. The Nazis got all their ideas from the History Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Quantify n in terms of q when q is a positive integer that dissects a parabolic curve. How's your lucky pencil case now? <laughs> Beware, giant scissors coming towards you along the dotted lines. <laughs> there was a young man from Preston who tried to drive to Heston. The sign wouldn't rhyme and he ploughed into the back of a juggernaut. <laughs> I think I'd make a very good diplomat. Uh, I'd like to live in Paris uh, with all the other parasites. <laughs> I would like to complain about the boomerang I bought. I threw it, but it never came back. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to complain about the sushi restaurant at Gatwick Airport. There's nice big portions going round on the conveyor, but they do taste luggagey. <laughs> And the children of Israel wandered round the desert for 40 years, until eventually Moses' wife said, Are you going to ask for directions? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Eve! Eve! Use fig leaves! <laughs> Not nettles! <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, we've started off by ripping up all the decking, Abandoned ship! <laughs> if you want to feel better looking and increase your self esteem, move to Leeds. <laughs> Tonight's game is in the incredible city of Kiev. The outskirts are sort of crispy crumbly. <laughs> Here in Ukraine, we launch campaign. <laughs> Kick football out of racism. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a political discussion show. Sorry, did I interrupt you? <laughs> Sadomasochism is a perversion. But we will clamp down on it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Of course, they start training tennis umpires at a very young age, and there they are, sitting in their high chairs, <laughs> shouting, Juice, juice! <laughs> Dear watchdog, these sausages are inedible. I don't know what it is, they look like someone off the telly. <laughs> but the patio... My doctor said I could have up to 20 units a week, but now I've eaten half my kitchen. <laughs> if it sounds too good to be true, and it looks too good to be true, then it's magic. <laughs> Things you won't hear at the Olympics. Good morning. No surprises here at the final of the archery. <laughs> <laughs> that is the fifth girl to jump off the top board and miss the huge pool below. <laughs> Women divers. <laughs> And so, the 101 Dalmatians fell asleep. Hang on, those aren't Dalmatians. Those are just ordinary white puppies riddled with bullets. <laughs> Hello. After years of depression and alcoholism, the little girl emigrated. And that is the end of Alice in Sunderland. <laughs> Dear Dragon's Den, I have lost my keys, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> dear, dear BBC, where can I get one of those blurred number plates you always see on television? <laughs> Not all of us survived last night's tropical fruit juice storm. Five alive. <laughs> It's a terrible moment when your fellow mountaineer turns to you and says he's got his arm stuck in a crevasse and you're going to have to cut it off. And then when he comes round, he says, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at home and there's an eight-foot anaconda snake coming through the letterbox. I think it's some kind of Amazon mix-up. <laughs> Scientists have injected a human embryo with Marmite. <laughs> the woman gave birth to Twiglets. <laughs> <laughs> and finally... <laughs> <laughs> Do not eat dairy, otherwise we will have nowhere to milk the cows. <laughs> MI6. No, you're a lot older than that, Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, how could you? You tried to mix giant broccoli with three million eggs. So, your terrible flan has failed. <laughs> so it is on Life of Things to Hear at a party conference. Yes, I'm a millionaire. Yes, I went to Eton. But I really feel I can relate to the rest of you scum. <laughs> this government say they're phasing out Roman numerals. <gasps> Not on my watch. <laughs> mm. Very good. Very good. At the end of that round, the boys with Josh, Captain